Welcome to the Black Brilliance Book Awards as presented by the y IYMA Awards 2023. And here's the awards index. For the current slate of awards, these are the courses that are privileged in the current slate of awards being offered for young for young readers. So we have the Coretta Scott King Awards, the John Steptoe Award for New Talent, the Americas Award, the Walter Dean Myers Award for Outstanding Children's Literature, and the Nerdy Awards. So the problem with these awards is that they don't leave room for nuanced black African American experiences. They highlight black characters and diversity and inclusion and race relations, but and a BLM awareness and police brutality, but not necessarily highlight the positives of the black experience sometimes. Uh, a lot of the awards, a lot of the book awards are books that have serious black experiences. Like there isn't an award for like introverted or awkward or extroverted, like nerdy, unapologetic black teens who aren't afraid to be themselves. And I hope to use my Y trail, my Y, sorry, my Y, I Y M A trailer to connect black touchstone readers who feel like they don't know how to fully embrace themselves, those who have trouble expressing those sides of themselves because of insecurity or family or social expectations or social isolation, um, low self-confidence or low self-esteem. Hopefully this award will highlight these black experiences and show that it's okay to be yourself. So introducing the Black Brilliance Awards. The awards criteria are all the books have to be published within the next the last two years. Um, all books should be written for a YA audience and they can be single, dual, or multiple points of views and they have to feature at least one black character who has overcome difficulty with self-expression because of family or society or cultural expectations. Romance can also be a contributing factor but it shouldn't be the center of the main character's identity or their character arc. So the three honor books are The Wrong Kind of Weird by James Ramos, Cool Awkward Black by Karen Strong, and Chaos Theory by Nick Stone. The Wrong Kind of Weird features three main characters, Cameron, Carson, uh, Carla Ortega and Mackenzie Briggs. I chose this book as an honor book because both lead characters, Cameron and Mackenzie, aren't afraid to wear their hearts on their sleeves, which could be great encouragement for black teens. And the next one is Cool Awkward Black, a multi-genre YA anthology, <laughs> anthology of best-selling, critically acclaimed Black authors who challenge the concept of the geek, the nerd. Many of these authors wrote short stories featuring characters who use their powers for good. It's basically a, a love letter to fandoms that cater exclusively to Black culture. So it's a perfect blend for readers who identify to enjoy. And the last one in the book is Chaos Theory, a gripping romance about two teens, a certified genius living with bipolar disorder and a politician's son who's running away from their own addi addiction and grief. It's really just a punch to the gut about mental illness and loss and discovering you're worthy of so much love and readers who are apprehensive towards society's expectations can use this book to um, motivate themselves to um, push past their fears. And the winner of this award is 
The Final Revival of Opal and Neff by Donnie Walton, which is an electrifying novel about the rise of an interracial rock group in the 1970s. Um, their breakup, their dark secrets when they try to reunite decades later for one last tour. And I just highlight the main, the female main character, Opal, because she's very fiercely independent within a male dominated music industry. She, um, could help readers like show to always stand what you believe in. And even though this is an adult contemporary, um, novel, it could inspire young readers to keep shine bright. It could be an inspiration for them to just keep going and yeah, just never back down from the challenge. And that's my award show. Thank you for watching.